and welcome to this first series on data and uncertainties. The purpose of this series is to make sure that you can collect, process, analyze data at a higher level and apply numerical uncertainties, which is a skill you haven't necessarily had to do before the higher course. Um, in the course of this series, we are going to have a full lesson on data gathering at higher level, paying attention to precision, paying attention to significant figures, um, how we actually present that data in data tables and how we apply numerical uncertainties. And this is all gonna lead towards carrying out a full experiment at home um, to measure the acceleration due to gravity, which is a classic higher experiment we would often use to get you guys starting to practice using these uncertainties at different measurements. So the first thing you're going to have to do is take some measurements. And that's what I'm gonna ask you to do in a moment. Throughout this series, this is what you're going to see in front of you. You're gonna see my paper and my hands as well. And uh, together we're gonna to make a set of notes about uncertainties. These notes will be everything you will need to apply uncertainties and understand how to best gather and analyze data at the higher level. So the purpose of this is to be a full and complete lesson on this area of the course. My intention is that you make a set of notes along with me. So to do this lesson, folks, and you can pause me now to go and get these things, you're gonna need some paper of your own, you're gonna need a pen or a pencil, you're going to need a ruler, a calculator, where's my, here we go, a calculator, and, uh, and that should be it for now. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask you to go and get some real measurements of your own. We can only really learn about data gathering and measuring and uncertainties if we really carry it out. My intention is to give you three measurements I think everybody can pretty much carry out um, in their houses in this unusual scenario we find ourselves in at the moment. Um, and if that's not the case, if I really ask you to measure something that is, um, you just can't get a hold of, simply replace it with anything at all. Everything that I say in this lesson, in this series, should apply to any measurement you make. So please don't worry too much if you can't make your items exactly match mine. You should be able to apply this lesson to pretty much any measurement within your own home. So, um, hoping now that you've got some paper and you've got something to write with, let's start making our notes. So I'm going to call this series Data and uncertainties and like I say the intention is that you just write along with me folks take your notes in real time with me and if I go a little bit too fast just pause me so we are going to measure the first thing we're going to measure is the height of one, two, three, four, five lines on a lined piece of paper. Okay, so literally sticking your ruler on there and going one, two, three, four, five, and taking that measurement. The purpose of this one, folks, is I want one measurement where we're all pretty much going to get exactly the same answer so you can really see that your numbers match mine and you can understand where they come from. Okay, so our first measurement, everyone should pretty much have exactly the same number. The second thing we're going to do is measure the length of a blade of grass. Now I collected my grass a little while ago, so it's a little bit tried and shriveled now. Um, so this measurement is obviously very similar to the first. It's still a length. You can still carry it out with just a short, um, simple ruler. Any measuring device, if you don't have a ruler at home, a tape measure, anything at all will work, okay? Um, but the purpose of using the grass, guys, is um, everyone's gonna get a different number first of all, and it represents those slightly odd measurements that we can make um, where something is much lighter, it doesn't have any weight to it, and it's not necessarily completely straight. So um, it can be a little bit odd to measure. We don't, it's, it's got quite a lot more inherent uncertainty in it. Um, 
And so this can often be things like, um, sometimes we do something called floating measurements. If you've got a hanging piece of string, for example, and a pendulum, measuring the length of string is, is very much like this. It's kind of inherently difficult to do because of um, the, the nature of, of that measurement. So this is kind of representing all of those odder measurements that we have to do where the, situation, the, the scenario isn't perfect. So length of a blade of grass will all get a different number. And then the third measurement is just changing up the measuring device um, and we're going to time something. Now it can be literally anything. We're all going to time different numbers so it does not matter what you time. I'm going to time myself walking around my table. If you don't have a table like this that's um, away from walls, you could perhaps time yourself walking the length of your room, walking the length of your garden, what doing anything you could time um well to be honest my mind has gone blank from <laughs> from anything other than walking um but please just don't limit yourself time anything and obviously you can use um, anything to time with your phone uh you could, you could have a, a retro casio watch like myself and uh, use it as a timer um anything at all um so those are going to be our our three measurements so i'm going to stop this video right here you're going to go away and make your measurements i'm going to make mine and I'll see you in video two to see how we get on. Thanks very much.